atmosphere has been suspicious somehow. I was having a series of negative dreams. And my daughter also did. Baba, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand the evil that has besieged our home and ministry. Before the death of Daniela, a female staff died in the ministry. What? Yes, Baba. Two instances of death within a month. Is that so? Yes, Baba. Did the Lord show any of you anything about this? No. We did not see anything. Nothing. Baba, except the dream I had briefly after the death of that female star. She, I, I saw her in my dream, busting into our bedroom, sitting on her bed, and I was trying to drag her out, but she resisted. Esther? Yes, Baba. Please excuse us. Pastor? Please excuse me. Reverend Osea, listen to me attentively. You have spent more than 30 years in the ministry. You have come a long way. The Lord has been so faithful to you. He has enlarged your, your ministry. When I stepped into this house, I sensed in my spirit things are not spiritually right in this place. In addition to the to the to the, to the dreams I had about you a few days ago. Now, don't grieve the Holy Spirit, son. Where have you missed it? Baba, I, I don't know. Sincerely, I, I don't really know. Ah, no. You know. You are really aware where you have gone wrong. When I stepped into this house, I sensed in my spirit that everything spiritually has gone wrong in this house. In addition to the, to the dreams I had about you a few days ago, where have you missed it? Well, I, I can't understand. I can't understand. Maybe they are just trials of faith. Yes. They are uh, trials of faith that are more terrible than this. But the spiritual atmosphere around such trial does not smell polluted. There is a presence of sin in this house. Baba, I don't really think so. May I advise you? If you have sinned against the Lord, come out before him for his mercy. Don't cover up your sin. When it explodes, you won't be able to cover it then. sense it. You have broken the edge and have overstepped your boundary. What did you do? Baba, nothing. When David sinned and Nathan confronted him, he never said a word to excuse himself, but owned up to it and said, I have sinned. 
Nathan assured him that he has been forgiven, that he will not die eternally, nor be put away from the Lord, because he was sorry for his sins. However, the Lord visited his transgressions with the rod and his iniquities with many stripes. It is a terrible thing to despise the grace of God. So perhaps you could be as wise as David to open up to a Nathan. Son, what did you do? Papa, there's nothing like that. I know what you are thinking. Your reputation, your personality, your ministry, yourself. Do you think about the Lord who will not permit sin in his presence? He is too holy to condone or conceal sin. Psalm 51 verse 17 says, The sacrifice acceptable to the Lord is a broken spirit and a contrite heart. God will not despise that. Thank you, Baba. Baba going? Let's pray before I go. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Cecilia. Who is it? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, let him come inside. All right. Yes, come in. Ha, ah, Pastor Wilson. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. Please have your seat. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, we had what happened, sir. Mm -hmm. Please accept our condolence, sir. <laughs> Pastor Wilson, was that why you came? Oh, my God. You, you could have called on phone to extend your greetings. Uh, no, sir. I, I had to bring the message on behalf of my entire congregation, sir. I see. Please accept our sympathy, sir. It's all right, sir. You see, the Lord understands all things, and he will heal you of all the wounds the incidents has inflicted upon you and your wife, sir. Mm. Thank you very much. I quite appreciate your visit. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, we consider it very unfortunate, sir, and very painful for you and your ministry, sir, to have lost two people within the last one month, sir. Mm. Mm. Sorry about it, sir. Mm. Thanks very much. Thank you very, very much. Sir, I learned that the other lady was a staff of your ministry, sir. Uh, yes, you're right. Okay, sir. Uh, was she to me always, sir? Mm, yes, you're right. Mm. Sir, uh, was it the same to me that that evil spirit was... Uh... Please, 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 please. Pastor Wilson, please. Please. I wouldn't want you to, you know, bring back uncomfortable past incidences. I wouldn't want you to. You see, I, I don't want to talk about that for now. So please, you have to excuse me, please. You don't want me to say anything about her anymore? No, 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 no. Please, I, I want to leave everything behind me. Uh, but, sir, uh, when you came to us in Kaduna and uh, that evil spirit confronted you, 
You said you did not know her at all, sir. Pastor Wilson. I thought your visit here is to comfort me and not to agitate me. Hmm? So please, I don't want to talk about that matter for now. Let's discuss something better. <sighs> sir, honestly, I wanted to forget all about it, sir. And concentrate on my own ministry. But the Spirit of God did not allow me, sir. Likewise, the Spirit of God will not allow me to continue with this conversation, Pastor Wilson. Okay, sir. Sir, I learned she was pregnant before she died. Did that lying spirit tell you that? No, sir. I had that here in Lagos, sir. Sir, does it not bother you why a child of God and a church worker and someone serving in your ministry will try to commit an abortion and die in the process? Pastor Wilson, where did you get all those lies? Was it a lie? Sir, I'm here by the leading of the Lord, sir, to warn you to amend your ways unto your Lord God. Sir, you are an elderly man of God, and I need not remind you about the dangers in desecrating the altar of the Lord with the blood of the innocents. Get out. Get out. Get out of my office! Get out. Bye-bye, sir. Nonsense. You are welcome. Is the Reverend around? Yes, ma'am. Well, let me inform him of your presence. It's all right. Hello, sir. You have a visitor. The lady. Which lady? Um. Miss Yetunde, she says she wants to see you. I don't have any appointment with her for today. All right, sir. He said he doesn't have any appointment with you today. He's so busy presently. He doesn't have an appointment with me today. Okay. Tell him that I have an appointment with him today. That it is very important I see him. He said he doesn't have any appointment with you today. You can't see him today, ma. Sorry. Probably tomorrow. I said the matter is of great importance. That it is very important I see him. I can't wait till tomorrow. Hey, sister. Sister. What do you think you are doing? I know it's obvious. Don't bother yourself. Relax. Hello, sir. Refuse to listen to me. She's coming up already. Yes, sir. What sort of rubbish is this? Eh? 
What in all? What is all this nonsense? What? 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 What, what is the matter with you? What is wrong with you? What sort of audacity is this, for God's sake? You are not giving me any breathing space yet today. You found me in the house, in the car, in the office. What else do you want from me? What is all this nonsense? Relax, Reverend. Relax. <laughs> I'm here just for two reasons. One, to express my sympathy on the death of your daughter. I know it must have been so painful indeed. I'm sorry. Thank you. Second, I want to show you what God has done for me. I got a car. A new car. And I want you to follow me down to the parking lot to, to bless it. Then, you will celebrate it for me. Finish. <laughs> anyway, uh, congratulations on your, on your, the purchase of your new car. Thank you. Uh, but I, I can't follow you downstairs, uh, you know, to, to bless the car. And besides that, I, I don't know how else to, I mean, how, how to bless it further. You won't follow me to the parking lot to bless it. Agreed. But <laughs> you have to wash it for me. You must wash it for me. How? Look, I, 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 don't, I don't understand what you are saying. I don't have time for all this. How? Simple. Give me 50,000 Naira to celebrate it for my friends. I don't have that kind of money. All right. 100,000 Naira. Are you serious? I am. 150,000 Naira. What is the matter with you, lady? Nothing. 250,000 Naira. Yetunde, are you all right? We shall see. I'm raising it up to 350,000 Naira. If you speak further, it goes up higher. Where is it? What? The check. I need the money today. Oh my God. Kitunde, why, why are you doing all this to me? Eh? Why? Haven't I bought all the evidences over? Yesterday, I, I paid one million naira, got in, in a hard way, so that you will not be able to bring up this issue again. Why? Why, why? why are you doing all this to me? Why? Why can't you stand by your word? Reverend, you really think you have bought all those evidence over? What, 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 was that not the reason why, why I paid you one million naira? And you have been able to give me the, the write-ups, the tapes and the diary? Okay. I handed over to you the original write-ups and the tape. What about the copies? Oh my God, w which copies? <laughs> Didn't it occur to you, Reverend, that I could make photocopies of those write-ups and make copies of the tape? What, what, was that what you did yesterday? Do you have the diary with you? Oh my God, I punched I, I them. I have bought everything the very day you give, gave them to me. The write-ups, the diary. I have bought everything. <laughs> you didn't even check through the diary before you bought it. What, what, what about? I have removed all the relevant pages. So, all the information is still in my possession. I have more than 10 copies of the audio tape I gave to you. And I have photocopies of the write-ups with me. Good day, Reverend. Wait, wait, Yetunde. Wait, Yetunde. Oh, my God. You really want to finish me, Yetunde. Why? You really want to finish me? You have finished yourself the very day you disrespect the grace of God and His anointing on your head. And you put your hand into that sin of adultery. Wait, wait, wait. Now, how much do you want me to bring now? Five hundred thousand naira for now. Ha. 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 Expecting your call before the sun sets. Ha. Yesterday. Yesterday. Hey, 
sister. I'll see you. Thanks. Hello, ma. Hello, ma. Yes. You are Miss here today. Am I right? Yes. Have you met before? Uh, no, not really. Uh, well, I'm Pastor Wilson. <laughs> I know that pastor. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Uh, actually, I just want to beg you, please, uh, do not be angry with Reverend Hosea. Who told you I was angry with him? Nobody. I saw it myself. Uh, you entered his office uninvited. Then, you should go and ask him while I'm angry with him. You are one of his pastors, right? You are an associate pastor under him. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not really. You see, we know him as an elderly man of God and I'm like one of his spiritual sons. In that case, this conversation is over. I can't talk for that with you. You are all the same. Do you know to me? No, I don't. Ah, sorry. I must have been mistaken. I thought you knew her. Why are you asking? Uh, it's all right. It doesn't matter. Since you never knew her. I'm sorry. Thank you. Pastor Wilson. The to me I knew was to me a whistler. You actually knew her? Why are you asking? You have not answered my question, Pastor. Did you actually know to me? Hmm. I knew she died recently. She died from an abortion. She bled so much that the doctors could not even help her. Yeah. I was at the hospital. Shortly after she died. Reverend and Mrs. Hosea were there also by her deathbed. I took them to the hospital, but unfortunately, she died before we got there. Hmm. I'm sorry about the death of your close friend. But once again, I just want to appeal to you. Do not be angry with the Reverend. I don't actually know who you are. I must not talk too much. Perhaps you are even hired by the Reverend to come and beg me. Uh -uh. You mean he hired me to come and beg you because of some acts you knew about the death of your friend? Man, you are too smart for my liking. Are you really a pastor or a police detective? <laughs> I'm a pastor. This is my card. Uh, you can call me between today and tomorrow if you want to know any more information about Tumi.
Mom, why are you standing here outside this evening? Fresh air. I'm here to take fresh air. Mom, but it's cold outside this evening. Really? I'm feeling hot outside here, so inside is more hotter. Mom? Yes, David? I noticed you've not been in good times with Daddy of recent. A few minutes ago, I heard you shouting at him in your room. I'm sorry about that. It's just a little misunderstanding. Have you hit him? No, Ma. I don't feel like eating anything. You miss her? Yes. Sorry. Hmm? So, we are going inside now and hit your foot, okay? Okay. Are you standing out here all alone? It's cold outside. It's hot inside, so I'm alright. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's not. Only let's go inside. Everywhere is hot for someone like me. I feel insecure, with a feeling of apprehension all around me. I could feel better, perhaps, if you let me know what is going on around me. I was asking you, who was that lady, and you were shouting me down. Hmm? Her name has kept on reoccurring the way to Miss Name kept coming on from when she, was, when she was alive. And I'm asking you again, who is Yetunde? Honey, I have told you she's to Miss Friend. You have seen her before, haven't you? I mean, she was the one that took us to the hospital where Tumi died. I mean, she... I already know those facts. Okay, what else do you want to know? But, um, but, but our calling has been too frequent. And yesterday evening, I overheard you discussing together on, on some amounts. You were saying you wouldn't be able to pay some certain amount. And I think she cut off the phone and you were trying to call her back. And it was suspicious how you could pick up a call in the living room and run outside to answer the call. What is wrong with you? I don't have time for all these irrelevant questions. I don't have time. But you can't ignore the question. Ah! You pulled my shirt? Yeah! You slapped me! <laughs> you slapped me. You are treading the wrong path, and I was telling you this, and you still slapped me. Are you not know that man of God? Cutting off the line, Reverend. You are playing on my patience. Have you not made up your mind? On what? You are asking me that question. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> about an hour ago, you were begging me not to increase it beyond 500,000 naira because you couldn't meet the sunset deadline. Have you not made up your mind? to make the 500,000 Naira available by 10 a.m. tomorrow? We have no deal. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we have no deal? You heard me, lady. Go and do your worst, okay? Hello? Hello? <sighs> I should.
matter with you, lady. I have told you I don't have any money to give you tomorrow. Go and do your work. I know. I know, Reverend. But I just want to tell you that when I begin to do my worst, don't come back begging me. Because you may not know me. I have a very important information to pass that to you. You need to go and get permission. Now call Reverend Osia. I think he knows the man responsible for your wife's pregnancy. The man gave her money and persuaded her to go for the abortion. Are you sure? I, are you sure? Hello? Hello? Reverencia knows the man. The man gave her money and persuaded her to. No. Impossible. Sorry for everything that happened. Please, I, I'm truly sorry. Please. Hello? Evening, sir. Am I on to Reverend Osia? Yes, Reverend Osei on the line. May I know who is speaking? I am Clement Owese. Ha! Ah. Clement Owese. How are you? And uh, how is your child? We are all fine, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Someone called me just a few minutes ago. That you know the man responsible for the pregnancy of my late wife. The caller said, you know the man responsible, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, yes, I, I, I am listening. Uh, but the, the whole thing seems to me like a dream. And uh, now, who is the person? The voice sounded like that of a lady. The caller gave me no further information about herself. Uh, no, uh, it, it can't be true, uh, Mr. Wesey. It, it can't be true. You see, I, I think the person only wants to make you feel sad about the past incidents. Uh, no, 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 not at all, not at all. You see, uh, Mr. Clement, the, the old sh issue, you see, seems to us like a, a big surprise. 
All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Good things to mommy. Good night, sir. Good, good, good night. Is that not to me, husband? Yes. What was the problem with him? Hmm. He said somebody called him just now to tell him that he was responsible for to miss pregnancy and that we know him very well. This lady has died. I mean, why should a ghost haunt this family endlessly? In fact, I am completely fed up with the whole issue. Her friend was bombarding you with calls. Her husband has begun to call you too. I saw her in my dream, busting into our bedroom and sitting on her bed. I hope you don't know anything disturbing about this lady. And I hope you are not at the center of this issue. What are you talking about? Will you stop all this nonsense? Calling me again, Reverend. Were you the one that called Clement and told him all those rubbish? I never knew he could respond so fast. Yes, I was. Listen, Mr. Reverend. I have no use for all these endless phone conversations. I have made my stand known. In my, prof in my 15 years of professional journalism, I have never been this unethical. But you gave me no other choice. As a professional journalist, I know how to play both the unethical journalism and the ethical one. I've got my battle plan ready. So I have more than ten ways to press your button. Have you now made up your mind? Now, what, what did you tell him? What did you tell him? I didn't tell him much. I gave him no clue. But... Don't push me again. Oh, my God. Now, you today, what do you want from me? I've been lenient. I've not increased it. It still stands as 500,000 Naira. But I, I, I don't have that kind of money. Ever since you demanded for about 1 million Naira, I have drained my personal and, and family account. Please, I, do, I don't have this money. I don't have this money. <laughs> you know what to do, Reverend, if you really need this money. No, no, I, no, I don't. I, I, I have drained all I have. Don't pretend you don't know what to do. Your congregation are still there. Race pledges. Hammer on tights. Bring up offerings under various funny pretexts. You could raise a lot of money from your congregation, Reverend. But this is terrible. But you must get something ready for me tomorrow. Even if not all. Then by Monday, I should be able to get the balance. Is that all right by you? 
yes, you have to come to church on Sunday. You see, the Lord will settle your problems. Yes. And, and you have to make sure you come with your husband. Uh, yes. I will be expecting you, right? You, you are speaking in slang, Reverend. You are still dodging the answer again. Uh, no, I quite understand. I, I quite understand the, the, the problem. Uh, but you make sure that you make yourself available for church on Sunday. Good night, eh? Don't stand the altar of the Lord on the altar. Lord on the altar. You can't hide from God. Cause he sees all things. Lord on the altar. Stop. Yes. I have delivered the message the Lord sent me to him. I'm through with my assignment. I'm going home. But he didn't accept the words. I gave him the warning of the Lord. As the Lord sent me. I told you he sent me out of his office. What about the lady? Hmm. Yet one day. Hmm. I sense she's embittered at Reverend Hosea. And it has to do with Tumi's death. She knows a lot of things about the circumstances surrounding Tumi's death. And I think she's on a vengeance mission. Just wondering whether the Lord would want me to play any further role. have access to her heart and cancel her. I purposely dropped my card with her and told her to call me for further information on Tumi with the hope that I would be able to speak with her further and release her from the bondage of that spirit of bitterness and vengeance. But she never called back. I'm going home. Hello? Yes, Pastor Wilson on the line. Mind we speaking, please? I'm here today. We met yesterday. Are you still Yes! Ah, Miss Yetunde, how are you? Ah, I expected your call yesterday. How is everything? Well, you said I should call you for further information about me. Yes, 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 yes. I'm interested. Uh, pl uh, when can we meet? Can you tell me on phone? Ah, uh, no, no. We need to see so we could talk. I need the information very urgently. When can we meet? Uh, in about an hour's time. Uh, do you know Courtins? Along Obafemi Aulawa Road? Yes, yes, yes. Let's meet there. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> Seems the Lord has an assignment for me. And you are taking me there. This detective and investigative ministry of yours is a strange one. <laughs> as long as it fits into God's plan, 
in my spirit that you would want me to came to this. Yes, we pray that you give us wisdom. Amen. Insight and revelation. Amen. Or trance. For the right thing to say and the right thing to do. Amen. Let your spirit take up the work. Amen. Let all things work according to your plans. Move, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Ah, are we eating now? Uh, no. Uh, tell your honey to keep the food. Uh, we will eat when we come back. We need to get there before we eat. Lord on the altar, you can't hide from God. Cause it sees all things Lord on the altar Lord on the altar You can't keep God out Cause He knows all things Lord on the altar Lord on the altar You can't hide from God Cause it sees all things Lord on the altar Lord on the altar You can't keep God out Cause it knows all things Lord on the altar Lord on the altar You can't hide from God Cause it sees all things You are a chosen vessel To serve God But carried away By the laws And needs the purpose of God For your life We trace your step back Cause the Lord is at hand, yeah. Lord on the altar, Lord on the altar, you can't hide from God, cause He sees all things. Lord on the altar, Lord on the altar, you can't keep God out. Cause it knows all things Lord on the altar Lord on the altar You can't hide from God Cause it sees all things Hello Pastor Oh, how are you yet? I'm sorry, please. Accept my apologies. How are you? You 
said you would tell me for that thing about me. Hmm. Yes. Upon one condition. What? That you would tell me all you knew about her. That's impossible, Pastor. Why? Because I don't know you. I don't know why you need this information. And besides, I don't want to open up to a man who has that reverend as a spiritual father. Uh, what do you want to really know about me? I am Pastor Wilson. I pastor a small church. But basically I am an evangelist with a strange type of calling. I travel a lot. Uh, I have a wife and three children, two of whom are in secondary school, one of which is in a primary school. What do you want to know about me? That's all about me. I'm not impressed. You've not spoken all. How did you not come to know that Rebbe? <sighs> we know him as a very popular and strong man of God. We invited him for our workers' conference. For three days, he challenged and revived all of us through his messages. That's how I knew him personally. Uh, but before then, I attended an, uh, so many conferences and conventions where he was the main speaker, and I sat under his ministrations. And to me, how did you come to know her? Mm -mm. I told you the condition upon which I will tell you what I know about her. She was your close friend, right? You brought the reverend and his wife to the hospital where she died. That would mean you were with her in the hospital before you went to bring the reverend. And probably you were the one who took her to the hospital. If that be the case, she must have spoken to you before she died. She died of an abortion. She committed the abortion, or rather, she aborted the pregnancy, um, probably because... Uh... Because what? Come on, go on. Probably because someone unexpected might be responsible for the pregnancy. Someone unexpected? Yes. Someone she must have been having uh, a secret affair with. Do you know the person? Uh, no, 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 no. I have spoken out enough. Now, you tell me. Why are you angry with Reverend Hosea? Well, I must prepare to speak about him. Uh, uh, tell me the truth. Are you happy with Reverend Hosea? No, that's impossible. You are so angry with him that you have lost respect for him. Why do you say that? <laughs> because you didn't even wait for the receptionist to give you permission before you stormed into his office. She said you did not have an appointment with the Reverend. But you insisted you had an appointment with him. You stormed into his office and you came out calmly. It's as if you have his neck in your hands. Well, I don't understand what you mean by it. No, 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 no. You do. <laughs> you do, Yetunde. As it is now, you can call upon him anytime, any day. And he has to do your bidding. I don't understand that. <laughs> How is your new car? How do you know my car is new? I saw it yesterday. 
The number plate is new. The date on the vehicle license pasted on the windscreen is three days ago. <laughs> the car is new. And what about it? Nothing. I was just wondering, uh, what work do you do? Can you stop that nonsense? What sort of an irresponsible question is that? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I deeply apologize. What's going on? Sorry. Where are you going? I'm sorry I upset you. I'm going. No, don't worry. Sit down. Where was I? Mm, the car. Skip it. Oh, yes. The car. I will skip it. I will skip it. Uh, why don't you want to tell me why you are embittered against the Reverend? Well, it's a secret kept to myself. I'm here to hear more information about him. I think I know why you don't want to disclose some facts about the Reverend. What? Probably you have some incriminating facts, documents, or evidence against him, which you have made a mail ticket for yourself, whereby you demand money from him with the hope of keeping it secret. Stop it. As it is now, the man is at your mercy. You may keep on milking him until he goes skinny and dry. I say stop it. I don't know the kind of work you do, but that new car may be as a result of the proceeds of the blackmail. I say stop it. What sort of rubbish is this? Do you have to bring me here to harass me? Was this what you wanted to do? Huh? You wanted to get more incriminating information against the Reverend? Probably to raise up your monetary demands on him. Huh? And enrich your purse. Huh? Because a man of God has fallen, must you be instruments in the hands of the devil to torment him further by sucking him dry? You want to take advantage of his fall to enrich your purse? You want to help him cover up his sins? Listen, a man's life does not consist of the abundance of the things that he has. That's all right. Does it occur to you that in order to meet your heavy demands on him, he might go ahead and do anything to ensure that you do not speak out? Or you want to encourage him to keep on taxing his congregation in order to meet his unending debts to you? I said that's all right. He made a deep wound on my heart. Yes, I know. But you do not have a capacity to make him pay for the wickedness he has committed. You need Jesus to heal you of whatever wounds you may have suffered. I had Jesus before. But the wickedness at the altar had made me quit. What? You quit Jesus? You quit heaven? You quit the peace and satisfaction which Jesus can give 
and which no earthly man or possession can ever give. Now, tell me, since you quit Jesus, did you have peace and satisfaction? What can you show for it since you quit Jesus except for that car and other material possessions which you acquired through the filthy money? Wickedness at the altar is never enough an excuse for any man, anyone, to quit Jesus and lose heaven. Because he fell, must you fall with him? You have to rush back to Jesus. He needs you, or rather, you need him. You are too brilliant to be an instrument in the hands of the devil. We both need to look for ways in which we can restore him, not push him deeper into more sins. Thank you. You need to rush back to Jesus. That is where you belong. Give me your hands. Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father. He recover your sin. to see you again. Don't worry. Just tell him I'm around. And if he doesn't want to see me, I'll go. Okay. Sir? The lady is here again. You've been expecting her? Yes, come in. Ha! Huh. What happened? I have been expecting you since morning. I kept wondering what would have kept you late. Uh, I thought probably maybe you have... Uh, maybe what? Maybe you have decided to carry out a threat. Did I issue any threats? Uh, yes, I was thinking probably you have called Mr. Clement to give him further clue or... You have decided to inform other people. But, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I cannot get all the money today. I've told you I will collect the balance on Monday. After you must have collected the tithes and the assorted offering of Sunday morning, the balance should be ready by Monday morning. Yes, I, I have about 350,000 naira here with me. I, I, I promise that by Monday you will be able to get the balance. That's all right. Yes, Tunde. Is there any hope of relief in sight? Why do you say that? I mean, am I going to perpetually be in slavery? Now, come to think of it. Within three weeks, Yes, Tunde. You have demanded for 1.5 million naira. 1.5. Is this the way I will continue to service this debt? For how long? Huh? 
Do you have any solution in mind or I should give you a suggestion? I, I can't fulfill the conditions. I can't confess. I mean, how, how do I confess? I mean, the, the secret affair, the pregnancy, the abortion, and then the death. Oh my God. Her husband, her son, and my own wife. Oh my God, how did I even get myself into this kind of mess? What are your suggestions? The cost of confession is highly devastating. And I cannot continue to service this debt forever. For how long? So uh, I thought maybe I should just pay you off once and for all and let's forget about this matter. Too costly. You can't pay me off at once. Can you get 20 million naira? Ah, 20 million? That's the cost of pay me off once and for all. <sighs> but can you put me on your monthly payroll? Monthly payroll? Yeah, by that the burden will be lighter. I see. I, I think that, that, that would be much better. Then what, what's your price? One million naira monthly for the next three years. Oh my God. That will be too burdensome. How do I get such an amount of money? Eh? You think they... May I say something? Like what? Like what? If this burden begins to get heavier on you, won't the devil begin to give you some nasty suggestions? <sighs> My God, the devil giving me suggestions? Like what? For instance, if you begin to feel uncomfortable with this demand, the devil may begin to suggest into your heart to get rid of me. Like, Praying for me to die, mm. or thinking of assassination, or planned accidents, or food poisoning, or anything that could get silence me permanently. Oh my God, little day, you should know I cannot do such a thing. What makes you think so? If it happens, won't you attempt to cover it up? The way you've been trying to cover up your sins? No, 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 it's only, that, 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 that's not possible. It, it, it's not possible. It's not, I can't do that. Where is the man? Put it on the table. How much is this? It's 350,000 naira. I will make up with the balance on Monday. Now, uh, Yetunde, please, I, 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 I don't want you to have this evil thought about me. What you are thinking about is not possible. I, I, I can't do it, please. I can't. <coughs> uh, sorry, sorry. <coughs> let, let, let me get some water. Pastor Wilson, how can you burst into my office like that? Didn't they tell you that I have a visitor? No, 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 no. Leave it, Reverend. We came together. Oh, my God. You came together? Yes, sir. He's already aware of all these stories. My God. You today? But you have broken the deal. Reverend, for how long would you continue to cover up your sins? If you hide from man, can you hide from God? Why have you allowed the devil to push you up to this point, sir? Sir, I will advise you. Huh? Please, surrender unto the Lord. Reverend, your action made me backslide. And I had vowed never to return back to the Lord. When I witnessed the atrocities a priest like you committed at the altar, 
We thank God for Pastor Wilson. He rescued me from my revenge mission, which could have ended my life in hell. But I thank God, I'm now back in the Lord. I've repented. I've returned the car I bought with the blood money. But unfortunately, the dealer deducted 15% of the money I paid him. I have now managed to return 930,000 Naira, which I have changed into bank draft bearing your name. Reverend, I thank God I have my peace back. I promise you now, Reverend, that I will go back home and burn all the photocopies and the pages of the diary in my possession. I will have nothing to do with it again. But I leave you alone, Reverend, to amend your ways. I leave you alone with God. Reverend sir, may the Lord help you. I trust the Lord to help you to do the right thing, sir. By tomorrow morning, sir, I would be back in Kaduna. I have completed my assignment here, sir. Bye for now, sir. Bye, sir. And don't stand the altar of God. Lord, I'm the altar. Lord, I'm the altar. You can't hide from God. Cause it sees all things. Lord, I'm the altar. Lord, I'm the altar. You can't keep God out. Cause He knows all things. Lord. Lord on the altar, you can't hide from God, cause He sees all things. Lord on the altar, Lord on the altar, you can't keep God out, cause He knows all things. Lord on the altar. Lord on the altar, you can't hide from God, cause He sees all things. Lord on the altar, Lord on the altar, you can't keep God out, cause He knows all things. Lord on the altar, Lord on the altar, you can't hide from God, cause He sees all things. Lord on the altar, Lord on the altar, you can't keep God out, cause He knows all things. Lord on the altar, Lord on the altar, you can't hide from God, cause He sees all things. Lord on the altar, Lord on the altar, you can't keep going.